Hurricane Isaias yes. getting closer to Florida. It is going to be getting closer as we head into this evening and through the day tomorrow is when I really think we're going to feel some of the impacts from this storm. Here is the current nuts and bolts of this. Right now, winds at 80 miles per hour. So from joining Carla and I earlier this morning, we have seen the winds decrease. So slightly weaker. It encountered a little bit of wind shear, some drier air that helped knock it down just a little bit, but still a category one storm. Winds northwest 12 miles per hour is where it is headed. That is the forward motion. Now, as we take you through the most updated track, there really was little change from earlier this morning, really starting to hone in on that track and path for us as we move forward. Expected to stay as a Category 1, and you can see the strength really not fluctuating a whole lot. We're going to keep it pretty steady as it moves through the northern Bahamas and gets closer towards southeast Florida tonight. And then it's expected to skirt right off our coastline, essentially parallel to our east coast throughout the day on Sunday and into Monday. And it is again going to get awfully close to our beaches. Here's a look at the wind field again. Uh, the biggest thing that we've been talking about, the further uh, east that it goes, the better it is for us. It's going to keep those strong hurricane force winds off our coastline. But you can see just how close they are coming. We're talking about 20 miles offshore here. We continue through the day on Sunday, getting very close to the the Cape as well, and that's why it's so important for us to watch any sort of westerly wobble with this, as that could change with some of the stronger winds that we get throughout the day tomorrow over near our beaches. But I do think we have a very good chance at the coastline to get tropical storm force winds, which puts us in that range of 39 to about 73 miles per hour. So we're going to be watching for that, and again, really favoring the coastline, but inland, just about a 10 to 20 percent chance of those tropical storm force winds. We're looking more along the lines of about 15 to 20. We could get some of those gusts when those squalls whip through uh, coming out of the north. They could bring some gusty winds, 35 to about 40 miles per hour in those. And again, those squalls are going to bring those brief pockets of downpours. We could see pockets of one to two inches around interior Florida. Near the coastline, winds are going to be the strongest there, 40 to about 60. And again, those gusts over 60 at times. And we are going to be watching very closely to that wobble. So for the rest of today, still want Brevard County, coastal Volusia County to continue with those hurricane preps as we do still have the hurricane warning in place for Volusia, coastal Volusia and Brevard County and new to our watches and warnings Flagler County is now under a tropical storm warning earlier today just the coastline was under a tropical storm watch but we've got this storm system again expected to slide just off our coastline through the day tomorrow and through the evening eventually pulling away by Monday and that's when we'll start to have improving conditions as we head through our Monday afternoon so today pretty calm but Tomorrow is the day where we will implement our plan and we'll be watching those tropical changes. Carla.